morning you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlogs if you guys are new here my name is jenna i'm very happy to have you today's monday and i am picking up the vlogging camera because i have a back checkup appointment that i forgot about so if you guys have been here for about six weeks i hurt my back a little while ago and i am going to the doctor today just to get a little touch base and just to see if there's anything else I could be doing because it's pretty much leveled out but I still have like the pain on the right side I don't know my left and rights um so I'm going to that today at 10 30 right now it's about 9 30 and I just made myself some breakfast we have some cheesy scrambled eggs and a hash brown from Trader Joe's nothing new here so I figured I would just start up the vlog and chat to you guys give you that little update because I will probably be vlogging all day today. My plan, so my boss was telling me that I could take a sick day and just go to my doctor's appointment and all that, but I do have some stuff that's due by the end of the month. So I just kind of want to get all of that done today so that I don't have to worry about it. And I could just have a clear conscience because if I'm being honest, like going to bed last night, I was a little bit like nervous like not thinking i'm gonna get everything done in time because it is the 25th so i literally have until the end of this week and my boss also leaves to go to italy so that is kind of the cutoff for me and i just didn't want to spend the week stressing out so it's my plan for today i am gonna try to go down into soho and work at butler i have my punch card conveniently here and the glass just because i haven't used it yet but i just love looking at it <laughs> um and they actually let you work so some cafes in new york don't let you work inside there just because it's like obviously they want to be able to cycle through like clients and stuff like that and then others you can like fully take out your computer and work all day if you want i need to look up to make sure that that's the case for them if not i can go to like le pain or something so not a big deal but um i want to just like get out of the apartment i love sitting at my desk this is like one of my favorite parts in the apartment but i know that like at times i do get a little bit like fatigued with my environment so i just have to change it up a little bit and so i will probably go down there and get a coffee and stuff after lunch so i'll do like the second half of the day down there after my appointment um also <laughs> i had the courage to unbox my base candle so i just wanted to show you guys this because i know i only um inserted a photo of what this actually looks like so there she is absolutely gorgeous and it actually says to pair this one with the roses candle and that's the one that got me into the diptyque candles because my friend Megan gave it to me and it says that you can pair both of them as like a really I guess it's kind of like um Joe Malone how they have you pair their fragrances and they like complement each other so yeah not that I need to be buying another one I just won't um but I thought that was interesting that you can do that I have this nest one burning right now this is like a little mini one it's the scent bamboo i think yeah um and that one's one of my absolute favorites those two are like my favorite fragrances like of all time i have some other ones from like bath and body works and stuff that i'll always love but the bath and body works candles i love more for like the christmas time for their christmas scents and like pine needles and all that kind of stuff um i'm not a huge fan of the home goods candles because i haven't found one that i'm like completely obsessed with but once i do i will obviously share with you guys because those are a lot more budget friendly this one i just got more so as like a decor piece and then like lighting it for special occasions and stuff so that's how i justified that not sure if it makes any sense but um yeah so there's a couple of updates oh i also started reading this book guys i unpacked my bag the second i got home yesterday and it was the best feeling on the planet normally i'm good with like unpacking it at some point during the day that I get back but I literally just like took the stuff right out and it was so great so this was the book that I brought home to read when I was sitting outside and it's the two family house I'm only like 30 pages in I got so much tanning oil all over this this is why my mom t tells me to take the cover off of it but it's really really good so far I'm like very interested in the story of it and where it's gonna go so if you guys need like an easy read that's a really good one it tells it from like four different perspectives so each chapter is like from a different character's point of view and i really like books like that because you can tell like what everyone's thinking without the narrator actually having to say it so that's really interesting for me and it's hard for me to find books that i really like i haven't gotten into colleen hoover i probably will soon but yeah i just haven't so far so i'm just going to continue on with work finish my breakfast and then get ready to go because my appointment's at 10 30 and i want to leave here by 10 just because um it's like 
it's not too bad out today i think it's still like 90 degrees but yesterday was 95 so it's definitely cooler and so i want to walk to my appointment just because it's not too far away and yeah so i just have to be ready for that but like i said welcome back to the vlogs you guys if you're not subscribed already then make sure you do i would love to have you and i'm just going to continue on with work for a little bit before i have to go you guys i'm dressed and forgot to show you my outfit before i left but i'm wearing a h&m athletic tank top this is the one where i mentioned to you guys that there's a similar one on abercrombie i have my nina bing hat as you guys can see sweat shorts these are the made the label ones you guys have seen them plenty of times before and then i have h&m crew socks and my new balance 530s so i have about 10 more minutes before i get there and then I might stop at, because I'm technically, so didn't give a whole explanation, but I moved my appointment to 12 so that I could go during my lunch break because I had an opening. And since it's technically my lunch break, I'm gonna possibly stop at the Bloomingdale's up here because they have an espresso store inside there. So you can go and like have the full experience and all that kind of stuff. And that's where me and Carson got our pods last time. They were like, $11, which is crazy. So I think that's gonna be my best bet. I just smiled because that kid is wearing a Harry Potter sweatshirt and or t-shirt. It's like way too hot to wear a sweatshirt. And I was just thinking yesterday when we were outside tanning that I wish I could stay out here and watch Harry Potter, which was obviously not possible, but maybe I'll watch it tonight or something. But yeah, so chiropractor, Nespresso pods, and I think that's probably all I will get done while I'm out here today. Okay, we have an actual doomsday approaching in the middle of, where am I, Times Square? I don't know, close to Times Square, but I'm gonna try to run to Bloomingdale's. I feel like it's gonna rain on me regardless, so I might as well get the pods while I can. Okay, I look insane because they put heat on me during my appointment, but I'm like sweating a little bit. I'm in. Bloomingdale's, I mean, no, it's not Bloomingdale's. It's actually Macy's Herald Square. It's the biggest store I've ever been in. And I'm going to the Nespresso counter. We're gonna get some pods. I'm probably gonna annoy them with a bunch of questions. Oh, look how cute. Um, and just get a couple of those so that I stop buying coffee out. But I don't have milk right now, so I'm probably gonna get one at some point today and also work at one of the coffee shops. I'll decide where I go. Wait a second, is this not where the Nespresso counter was? Oh my gosh, it's like appliance heaven in here. Like, pink blender. I kind of need that. Okay, grabbing pods. Oh, they have yellow. I don't even need one of those. I don't bake or cook. Pods have been secured. And now we're gonna walk in the rain. So glad I wore these sneakers. Okay, it's literally pissing down rain right now. I swear this is the most disgusting feeling on the planet is for it to be 90 degrees and also raining. My calves are soaking wet and I feel like I'm gonna have to take a shower when I get home because there's just like, you know how the water evaporates from the ground and then it rains back down? I just feel like there's dirty street city water raining back down on me, which is not true. That's not really how it goes. I'm sure the clouds move around and some other unfortunate place is getting the dirty, sitter, the dirty city water all over them, but I think the, the mood is pretty high considering that it's like pouring rain right now. And this girl in front of me doesn't have an umbrella, so that really puts everything into perspective. All right, I don't look as bad as I felt, but I had my face squished into a little like massage type of table and then just got drenched in the rain, but we're doing fine. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna wear this outfit all day cause I'm so uncomfortable and don't wanna get into anything else. But I wanted to show you guys which pods I picked up from, what is this called? Nespresso, because this is only my second time going there. And I love the ones that I got the first time. I actually ended up, I think I, yeah, I got two, I got another case of that one. I'm hoping that that was the right one. Otherwise I have two new ones to try, but I got the double espresso Dolce, which I did not know that these were double espresso. When he said, 
these are gonna be a double size and these are, I was like, wait, do you mean double in terms of like double the volume or like double like two shots? And he assured me it was two shots. So that's fine though, because Starbucks coffees, if you get a grande, it has two shots of espresso in it. So I'm fine with that. Um, so I ended up getting the, what are these called? Double espresso Dolce. Okay, it literally says it in the name. <laughs> that's so embarrassing. And then I got the Orafio because he said that this was a good option for ones that are just a single shot of espresso. So I feel like on the weekends and stuff, I mean, not that I need caffeine, it's more for like the taste of it. But for ones that I want to do like a little less strong, I have these as an option and it was $20 for both of these. And there's 11 in each, so that's 22 coffees. Is there 11 or are there, or are there 10? I actually don't know, but I think there are 10 or 11 in each. So that's like 20 coffees. It's like a dollar per coffee when I'm paying like $5 and 74 cents, which is kind of crazy. And then they also give you this little sample pack. So one of them is the double espresso Dolce. So this is the ones that I actually just picked up um, that I had before. And this is what the pod looks like. I have the Virtual Next machine. I absolutely love it. So if you guys are looking to get one, I will link that for you guys. And then this one is the Il Cafe one. So I think this is just a single shot of espresso. So it's cute because you get to try out some new ones, which is really great. And then I also have this box from Joanna Vargas that I didn't know was coming over. And funnily enough, I just left my moisturizer at home because I ran out of face lotion at home. And because I'm going there all the time, I figured I would just leave one there so that I had something that I know that my skin likes. So that one's at home right now. It's almost finished. That's why I brought it back with me. But they sent over some of their serums. So they have the Rescue Serum to clarify and protect, Supernova Serum, that's their Stimulate and Illuminate, Daily Serum, which is just Revitalize Serum, and then Rejuvenating and the Eden Rejuvenating Pro Serum. So I think these are the ones that I got in the last set. It was the serum and the moisturizer, and I love this serum. So I'm Glad to try out the rest of these. And this is the little card that comes with it, which is so nice. I mean, their packaging is always A1. Um, the last one that I got was literally like a little floral garden inside, which was so cute. Um, but so I am technically on my lunch, not technically, but I am on my lunch break. So I am gonna make something quickly. I think I'm just gonna reheat the Trader Joe's pizza that I made on Friday, which is kind of gross, but I want something quick because I'm hungry and I don't have too much time. And then I'll sit down and edit my vlog that I wanna put up for tonight while I do that. And then I think we're gonna head down to Soho and go to Butler and do some work there because I just need a little change of scenery and I wanna just like sit down and get every single piece of work done so that I could just go to bed with a clear conscience. So that's the goal for the rest of the day. I'm just kidding. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm a little bit delirious mixed with some caffeine. It's 5.30 now, and I did one of the projects that I had to finish for work, so that feels amazing, and now I'm stuck in the middle of the second one. So I made myself a little Nespresso coffee in my cute little butler glass. Yes, I did rinse this out from my lemon water and just make a coffee in it because that's how badly I wanted to use this glass, but I used the, I think I have Bianco Leggero in here if not then let me check exactly what pot it is okay so this is the bianco leggero coffee pod and i thought that that was the one i was picking up when i went today but i ended up getting the double espresso dolce so <laughs> the two that i got today are like two completely new ones but to be honest Aside from like these being sweet and one of like the espresso pods being like very bitter, I don't really taste the difference in the pods. So I think I'll be fine. Those are just two shots of espresso wars. I think this one's one. And then I just did regular milk. I did go to the bodega and get milk after I said I wasn't going to, but I didn't end up going to a coffee shop to work. I just thought that it would take too much time like with the travel and everything and like getting there, coming back at some point and then still doing work. So I just decided to stay at my desk here but um i got milk hopefully it doesn't go rotten in four days because that's what the bodega milk tends to do and then what else did i oh i have two capfuls of the caramel sweetener 
So that's all I do, it's really simple. I just put the ice cubes in, do the milk, and then throw in the coffee on top of it. I brew it in a separate container, like a separate glass, and then I pour it in here because I don't want it to like brew on top of the ice and melt all of the ice. I just poured it in there afterwards when the milk's already in there, put in the sweetener, good to go. So yeah, I'm really happy about this. I took a picture of it on my desk because I'm such a freak and I love a pretty little picture. So I still have a bit of work left to do. And then my back is feeling like kind of like muscle soreness. And I think it's because of like the stim with all that kind of stuff. It's like normal to be sore after the first session. So I'm going to go once a week for that, but I'm already feeling like 10 times better. I was going to go to the gym, but I have sweat so much over the past few days that I just don't feel like sweating. That's so bad. But I think tomorrow I was looking at the weather. I was just about to look on my phone, but I can't because I'm recording. But I think it's supposed to be 80 degrees tomorrow, so not too hot. And I think <clears throat> that since I had a work from home day, that I don't know why work from home days make me feel lazy, but I think that tomorrow after work, I'll have the motivation to be able to go to the gym. Um, or if I listen to one of the mi mind Mindset Mentor, I think that's what it's called, podcast. Every time I listen to that podcast, even if I only listen to one episode, I end up going to the gym that day. It's crazy. Like. He's just so motivating without being cheesy and is actually really helpful. So if you guys are looking for something to like get your butt into gear, he is a good one for that. I think his name is Rob Dial, um, but I just have been listening to that podcast like here and there and it's very helpful. I just haven't had my AirPods, so I haven't been able to listen to anything <laughs> at work, but I'm going to bring my corded headphones tomorrow, like a little champ, just so I can have some listening time and just focus when I'm at work. So I wanna just finish my coffee, but that is all I have for you guys right now. I'm just realizing that I look a little bit tanner and I'm like, oh, okay, July 25th, finally. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. And I do need a base for when I go to Florida because I think that's definitely happening. So we're gonna have some vacation content here, some packing vlogs, all that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited for that. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of those videos coming up. And for some reason, I don't know why I feel like I'm gonna end the vlog here. I don't, it feels like it's like rounding out to that point. And I obviously don't want this to be like too long of a video too. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and like spending the day with me in New York. I know that I had a bit of a different routine today and we were doing some like things that are a bit out of the ordinary. Um, but I kind of like that switching it up a little bit and not having like such a strict routine So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I hope to see you in my next video